Today is PTSD Awareness Month and today is PT Awareness, PTSD Awareness Day. PTSD, Post Traumatic Stress Disorder. In case you forgot what that means, joining me now is to tell us more about this is Brad Bianchi and Eric Campbell from Volunteers of America Southwest. Thank you. Nice to have you both. I have to remind people because, you know, we just throw out this PTSD like it's like a normal, ordinary thing, but it is not. It, Eric, it's a very, very difficult thing to deal with for a lot of people. It's an extremely difficult thing for people to deal with, uh, especially in our era, um, post uh, 9-11 um, a lot of our veterans are suffering from PTSD and our mission is to make sure that they have the services they need in order to help deal with and um, get back into society and, and have what they need to, to reunify, reunify with society as well yeah Brad what are the numbers here these are staggering numbers of, of people that you deal with here your client numbers here at Volunteers of America well on any given year we will help over 13,000 different individuals wow. but speaking about our Holly Center which uh, speaks specifically to veterans homelessness we have a 20 bed facility there right now and we also have an outreach programs so we'll actually go out onto the streets see if we can find people who need our assistance and bring them in and try to get their get them help what is the what is the most significant impact of PTSD here? Um, the most significant impact is just um, being able to uh, adjust to society, um, being able to um, have a, f a fruitful life, and not allow the things that um, have happened in the past um, affect you today. So it's it's being able to just get back into society and know um, that there are people there. For help you with with the with the issues and why is it that so many people who suffer from PTSD isolate themselves do you want to answer that uh, yeah. Brad or Eric either one of you um, depression, um, yeah. the the thought and the horror of maybe things they've seen, um, things they've been through, um, you know, with uh, with Afghanistan and, and with the Iraq conflicts. Mm -hmm. um, there's a lot that that our men and women of service have seen, and um, and it's hard for them to to necessarily get back into society and, and forget those things that happened in the past. So, Brad, I ask you this: How yes. can we help? How can the public help? Public can help by just being aware, supporting the programs. Volunteers of America has our programs, of course but all the programs that are out there just knowing what's going on and being involved in some way what's it seems that you know you say we just for example we were just down the street we just saw some homeless people on yes. the street and we tend to not want to think about it not not uh, even talk about it this is this was something we don't want to speak about yeah. yet it's a growing and growing problem that's really going to affect not yes. only our community but many communities yes yeah, there's a, there's 1,157 um, homeless vets in this in the San Diego area, um, and approximately 70 percent of them are suffering from uh, PTSD. So that's why Volunteers of America tries to help out as much as we can. We have the services available, and it's not just Holly Center, which is out in East County, mm -hmm. um, but we have other services as well. We have the um, SSVF um, to help with. Um, uh, families, um, child care, um, legal services, um, being able to get back into society and find um, work. Um, Holly Center basically focuses on um, veterans that suffer not only PTSD but other mental disorders as well. Mm -hmm. um, but they're there for up to two years and they can um, they can basically get back into society and that's what, what we do through individual case management with them. How is Volunteers of America funded? What, where does the money come from? We have a very we work with uh, Veterans Affairs as well. Uh, we have public and private sources, so anyone can donate at any capacity, and we also work with uh, 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 Veterans Affairs as well. Are there plans to expand and grow your your organization? We'd like to. You know, a lot of times the resources aren't there, but as they are there, we commit uh, all, all of our resources to, uh, to these issues. Well, we wish you the very best in your Thank continuing you. efforts in making uh, PTSD something that everyone is concerned about and our community gets together to solve this problem. Thank, Thank you. you so much. Thanks so much for being here with us this Thank morning. You. As we continue